Hello everyone, welcome to this little uh, comparison show. We're opening up two baseball collector's edge boxes, both from, I believe, Fairfield. Uh, Fairfield Company, Fairfield Company, yes. One's a one out of four, contains a hit. The other one's a one out of eight, contains a hit. We'll open them both up. We'll kind of see who gets what. I believe this one was from Walgreens. This one was from, might have been Rite Aid. I think it was from Rite Aid. But we are going to see what the difference is between the two. Let's start off with the one out of eight and see what happens. They are both loaded down. Uh, you do get... Look for the cards, packs, parallels, autographs. Uh, anything else it says? Nope, that's it. So, box number one. And as you can see, it's all loaded up in there. I see our pack on the very top up there. And that takes care of that. We'll put this one up here just so we remember which one we got. That's the one out of eight. Our pack that we're going to open up will be a 1993 Leaf Baseball. 90s were just oversaturated, oversaturated with cards. They just went crazy in that decade. Okay, starting off. Stubbs, <clears throat> Romine, Ballin. Uh, we got a father-son card, the Skinners, Marty Barrett. Oil Cam Boyd, Hurst, Gidman, Tartable, Garcia, Chris Spire, Bamberger, Weiniger. Uh, we have a Frank Viola, and this is a 93 card. Most of these are going to be like in the 90s. There will be a few variations. Flair, uh, Wally Joyner, Gene Larkin. Mark Davis, the Guterman, upside down, Craig Graybeck, we have Dave Haas, Mickey Mordini, Danny Jackson, Brian Sims, or Ryan Smith, I'm sorry. Then we have Lee Stevens, Matt Noakes, Jose Rio, uh, that looks like S Sab DC Sabathia. CC Sabathia, uh, Mike Balecki, Pete Harnish, Mike Hinman, don't know this one, Ellis Burks, that's a nice card, is it a number card? Nope, just a nice thick card from Don Russ Elite, signed with the Red Sox on 2504, Dennis Eckersley, we're looking for a rare card or a signature card, but it does say one out of eight, so our chances aren't very good. Jeff Ballard, Bob Locke, Mitch Williams. Then we have Gary Pettis, uh, Brian Fisher, Heroes, Orlando Serpeda. I like that one. That's, that's kind of a cool looking one. League Leaders, we have Al Leiter. Not numbered or anything, and league leader in what year? 2000, so this would be a 2002, because it, well, it says 2001 now, so this must have been the year 2000 that it was league leader. Matt Williams, Lou Whitaker, that's a nice little checklist card there, AL checklist. Frank Thomas, so is it all White Sox? Nope. No, oh, it is all, is it all White Sox? No, it's not all White Sox, just a variation. So that's a nice little checklist, shiny there. Ozzy Smith, MVP. Uh, we have Mitch Williams, Prime Nine. So that's Tony Gwynn. That's kind of a cool looking card. Chicago White Sox, another Frank Thomas score. Jeff Brantley. We have uh, Todd Hollinsworth, Mike Scott, John Bur Burkett, 
R. J. Reynolds, Pete O'Brien, Tom Prince, Andres Thomas, Stan Luberdosi, don't remember, oh, Lombardosi, don't remember him, uh, Hubie, Hubie Brooks, Glenn Davis, Kevin Bass, Oral Hershiser, uh, Don Russ 93, uh, Steve Shiflett, Denny Martinez, he did pitch a perfect game, I believe, Denny Martinez, uh, can't see that, Joe Maurer, yep, Rick Reed, Mike DeVoe, Eddie Miller, uh, Eddie Milner, Gary Gaetti, uh, we have the twins, uh, Alex Cole. Then we have Steve Hosley, Dave Concepcion, Thad Bosley, Brian Rollinson, Alex Wood. Uh, we have Nate Jones and Willie Pet Peralta, De La Rosa. Washburn, then we got Fred McGriff, Dave Fleming, Dave Fleming, Brett Anderson, and Bubba Trammell. So nothing really spectacular out of there. These were the best four at, so far. So and then we have our leaf. So let's see if we get anything out of the leaf pack. And that will take care of box one. Can't get it open, so hopefully it's something uh, pretty good since we can't get it open there. Leaf number one, first box. Oh, they're all kind of stuck together, so that... Boy, they're really stuck together. Bill... Gullickson, Sid Fernandez, uh, Marvin Freeman, Houston Astros, Luis Gonzalez, Ben McDonald, who was supposed to be the star. He was supposed to be their future stud, and he ended up doing all right, but nothing like they expected. Boy. Can't get these apart. Uh, Pedro Martinez. Well, we know how Pedro did, so that was that's a decent one there. Tim Scott. Uh, Jeff Kent, when he was with the Mets. Damon Berryhill. And Eddie Murray. We got Chicago Cubs, Mark Grace. Pirates, Jeff King. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll get the back end there. Oh, Nolan Ryan, that's a good one. So obviously these cards are not premium cards, but if you'd like to just go back and remember some of these players when they used to play, then the box is worth it. Other than that, don't expect anything big out of it, especially since you can't get these cards separated. And the last card, Rick Wilkins. So that takes care of the first box, one out of eight. I don't think we really got a big boomer out of one out of eight. So let's take a look at our second box. <clears throat> one out of four contains hits. We'll do a little comparison. There's all the cards coming out there. Got one card stuck right there. Is it a Cincinnati Red that doesn't want to come out of there? Tim Laker. Nothing left in that box. So, oh, I guess I could have put it up top to see. Well, we already know. The second box is a one out of four. So Tim Laker... 
The pack this time we're getting is a Don Russ. Uh, what year is this? Doesn't really say. Ni 1988 Diamond Kings. Okay, 1988 Don Russ. So at least this one's a little bit older there. Okay, Miguel Cabrera, Andrew McClutchin. Andrew McClutchin, we have a, some kind of Topps Town, which we already probably know that it's expired by now. Expires 1311. And watch it end up being it was a winning card, but doesn't do any good now. Uh, Jimmy Rollins, Al Bumbry. Feels like there's a card behind it. There is. And St Steve Finley. Chuck Finley. Darren Daryl Jones. Oh, it's an is that an autograph? Don't know if that's an autograph or not. Don't know if it's part of the well, we'll put it up there as an autograph. Okay, John Russell, Andy Van Slyke, Ron Darling, Julio Franco, Chris Gwynn, Tony's brother, uh, Gerald Perry, Tom Glavin, Kenny Mann, Mike Witt, Oral Hershiser, Carlos Bayarga, uh, we have Kenny Phil Fielder. Kenny Fielder, uh, and I can, boy, it's hard to see these. Tim Tuffle, Jay Baller, Doyle Alexander, Drew Hall, Hulu, John Franco, Pete Stack, Stanchik, Wally Joyner, Jeff Parrott, Al Oliver, Nelson Luriano, Pat Mears, Miles, Miles Straw, Kopik, Erlin, Drury, Urena, Kemp, Tony Kemp there, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Kane, Hunter Dozier, Maryfield, Herrera, uh, Jeff Blauser, second half of the Gross, Brooks, Stewart, Moyer, Matt Williams, Ransky, Raninsky, <coughs> excuse me, Trujillo, <coughs> Sir, uh, Sir, Sir Rudy. Daryl Strawberry, the franchise for the Dodgers. <clears throat> uh, Al Leiter, Casey Witten, uh, draft pick 1993, Plummer, Langston, Bradford, Ber Bergermeyer, Castillo, Hudler, Enos, and we have Troy Percival, Flesky, Otolaveras, and Bosky, Timlin, Gino Petrali, Murphy, Palmero, Hernandez, McDowell, Hollins, Kennedy, Brentley. Looks like a game, play the game, scratch and reveal the prize, but we know that's going to be uh, expired, wherever it would say expired on there. Gerald Perry, is this an autograph? Nope. Chamberlain, Icorn, Gooden, Adushi, Brett Butler, and the final card, Howard Johnson. So, oh, I knew we had a pack. I couldn't remember what I did with it. It's up top there. So, the game match there, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so the puzzle cards. So, these look like pretty cheap cards here. Three puzzle pieces, 15 picture cards. Collect six, all 63 pieces to 
complete the puzzle. I don't think we're going to worry about that. Okay, first card, puzzle card, which is, I have no idea. Looks like a St. Louis emblem, but whatever. Eddie Williams, Jerry Brown, Andy Van Slyke, Bob Kepner, Lee Mazzelli, Dave Dravecki, Jill Skinner, Pasqua, Flannery, Al Davis, Bush, uh, Bruce, no, Bush, Devon White, Checklist Card, Don Sutton, and Randy Bush. So nothing really special on that. So that box had probably some more uh, better players in it, but just no hits in it at all. So we were we did not get the one and four unless that is an autograph. And I can't really tell if that's just part of the print card. I'm going to say it must be an autograph. So I'm going to have to look them up and see if this Daryl Jones did anything. I just don't remember anything about him. But he played on St. Louis. First year Bowman card. We'll see how uh, he did. Back in 2005, high school batting average 463. Well, he was a hitter, but he wasn't a. He must have been a base stealer. I wonder if he was a base stealer. Probably says on there somewhere. But that's it. That's the comparison between the two. So nothing spectacular out of those boxes. So don't expect anything big. Just buy them for fun. Takes you back memory lane. And that's it. So no difference between the. Uh, Walgreens and the other one, Rite Aid. So anyway, everybody stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And if you enjoyed what you saw, just hit a, the, up, the thumb on the bottom up there, the thumbs up. If you want to see anything else to break, just let me know. Take care of yourselves. Bye.